Hi everybody, Vegas Film Critic here, Jeffrey K. Howard, here to talk about the controversy around A Dog's Purpose, the new film from Universal Studios that features uh, dogs being reincarnated over different lifetimes with this one specific owner, based on the best-selling book, uh, you know, very family-friendly, starring Dennis Quaid, one of my favorite actors, and of course, it's it's just clouded in... in uh, controversy and I'm a big animal lover and especially when you have in this day and age when you have animal movies or animals on the set you always see the humane society at the end credits you know no animals are harmed during the production of this movie I mean it's just everyone kind of quotes that all the time well TMZ got a hold of some footage uh, being shot on the movie where a German Shepherd was being forced into a water tank with a, I guess it simulated a rushing river or of some kind the dog had to do a stunt where he jumped into it well somebody taped this footage where this German Shepherd was literally being pushed Pushed into the water. It was clawing the side. It was terrified of getting in the water. And then there's a jump cut in the video where uh, the dog is literally almost drowning and people are jumping in to save him. So is the footage doctored? Is it manipulated? Yes. But if you look at the footage on its own, you know, for the impact, it's definitely they're pushing this dog in the water. And Lassie Hallstrom, who directed My Life as a Dog, one of the great Danish films, uh, he was not on set. So he had no idea what was going on here. And there were also people on the set that were also terrified and, you know, concerned for the animal, for the German Shepherd, but also some people kind of giggling and laughing like, oh, they're going to push the dog in the water. So I'm a dog lover. I'm just outraged. I really am. And this has gone viral. It's just... It's just gone crazy because people are just, you know, you're pushing this poor dog into the water for the sake of a shot, for the sake of, you know, for the movie. And, th of course, to their defense, they're saying, well, wait a minute, the dog rehearsed at another location, he jumped to the water, he was totally fine with it. But then when you look at this footage, you have the wind machines going on and you have the roaring water and the dog is just terrified. How come he wasn't rehearsing with that specific location? So, here this movie is filled with dogs, filled with uh, Josh Gad doing voiceovers of the dog's voice and doing and what supposedly is going to a best-selling book is going to be a best-selling movie. But, of course, they canceled the premiere. They They've done uh, absolutely a, an about face on this. It's a PR nightmare. So uh, obviously I'm not going to show the footage here because I'll probably get flagged, but I'll um, copyright infringement, but I'll leave a link down below so you can see uh, what's going on with this. And just, I'd love to know your opinion. Are you an animal lover like me? Are you boycotting the movie like I am? I am. You know, I'm not going to see this movie if I knew that kind of treatment was going on. I mean, I'm not a member of PETA who's like, you know, come out, uh, you know, talking about this film, but also like the uh, Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus is now finally shutting down because of the use of the, of the lions and the, and the elephants. Everyone's got a different attitude towards the treatment of animals. I do it specifically, you know, so I saw that footage and I was outraged. So I'd like to know what you think of that footage and uh, leave a comment below. All right, for more reviews and interviews, surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. <sighs> Am I going to see A Dog's Purpose? Maybe if it comes on HBO. Maybe I'll check it out. It's getting horrible reviews anyway. Look on Rotten Tomatoes and it's just, supposedly it's a bad movie to begin with, but this makes it even worse with animal cruelty, which is not acceptable under any circumstances. I'm Jeffrey Gay Howard. I'll see you next time.